Now we get to one of the really bad letters in bright minds. I is for inflammation, which comes from the Latin word to set a fire. When you have chronic inflammation, it's like you have a low-level fire destroying your organs, which increases your risk of depression and dementia. Tests for inflammation include C-reactive protein and the omega-3 index. Having rosacea and joint pain are also signs of inflammation. The best way to decrease inflammation is to eliminate anything that causes it, such as a diet filled with processed foods and sugar and gum disease. I was always too busy to floss until I saw the research showing gum disease was a major cause of inflammation and memory loss. Now I floss every day. I was just at the dentist and he told me my mouth looks better than ever. I was like a seven-year-old kid so happy that I wanted to put a sticker on the refrigerator. <laughs> I even called Tana to tell her and she's like, seriously? That's what makes you happy? <laughs> to reduce inflammation, floss every day. Cook with the yellow spice turmeric and boost your omega-3 fatty acids by eating more fish or taking omega-3 supplements. In a new study we published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, the hippocampus was healthiest in people who had the highest omega-3 levels. Our salmon curry chowder is an incredible anti-inflammatory dish I love even though I usually don't much like salmon.